Tonight, a controversy over a pet adoption program that might not be designed to find man's best friend for a forever home, at least. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon is live in studio with something pet lovers will sure want to hear. Hillary, it centers around a website that's getting national attention. Jack, it does. This website, WagsLending.com, is getting a lot of heat. It's been around for a few years, claiming to help people take a dog home immediately and then pay the dog off through a lease. Dog owners know that a pet is an investment, but the website WagsLending.com says it can help with that. It felt just instinctively wrong. Um, it felt like we were treating the dog like a car or an object or something like that. Instead of paying thousands of dollars up front for a pet, you pay in a 12 or 24 month lease. And if things don't work out, you can return the dog. Well, experts say there are problems to this program. Just like someone who goes to a car dealership, people get distracted thinking about the monthly payment and might then no longer negotiate that sticker price. Once they start adding in the fees, all of a sudden a dog that you could have bought for $1,500 is $5,000. In Connecticut, a woman thought she was making a loan at a pet store, but found herself in this exact issue. I was like, okay, what bills am I not going to pay now so that way I can make sure no one's going to knock on my door and take my dogs away. In Alabama, a local advocacy group says this reads scam all over it. This is just another way for puppy mills to to get their products sold and that's what they look at these animals as not family members just products. Pet owners say if you can't afford an animal then maybe you shouldn't have one. Yeah. Good boy. On the surface it's great to be able to have an option to purchase one but if you can't afford to keep it healthy then what are you going to do? I guess that gives them an option, but even still, you know, there's other dogs that need homes. So I don't know why you would turn to a service like that. Now, pet leasing is not considered illegal, but pet shops can be held responsible if they're not upfront to the customer that this is a lease. A few states have banned pet leasing, but it doesn't appear Alabama is on that list. In the studio, Hillary Simon, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.